Hey, what's going on? <laughs> nice intro. Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Breath of the Dying. This gun is pretty awesome. To get it, you want to farm the Blinding Banshee over at the Desolation's Edge. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Alright, so what you want to do is head over to Desolation's Edge over at Necrotefeo, and we're going to be heading over to the challenge enemy right over here. On your way over, be sure to hit the save right here so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right there. And it's going to make it a much shorter walk to the enemy. There's the Blinding Banshee. First run. We did not get it. Alright, I'll keep farming and get the drop. Oh, that might be it. Yep, there it is. Alright, so let me clear out the enemies and we'll check it out. Breath of the Dying. Damage, not bad. Accuracy, good. Handling just above mid tier, reload time fair, fire rate pretty fast, and mag size 45. Red text is Vex Hell L Eld Zod F. Did I get that right? Maybe. Um, bonus weapon fire rate, reload speed, and 2.2 and 5 times weapon zoom. And it swaps between fully auto and 5 shot burst. Also, this gun will only drop in corrosive, so you know, keep that in mind. The gun looks really good. I like it. It has an animated texture. You can see it kind of waving back and forth there. Uh, it's got a skull on the side, all green. Yeah, I like it. Alright, this gun is pretty cool. It's balanced across all the stats. As you can see here, good reload and everything. Now, you can see here, it's going to be doing corrosion, and it's not really going to apply a damage over time. That is because it has a 0% chance to apply a damage over time. And the reason is because it has a special effect, and we're going to have to kill an enemy to show that off. So, let's go find some robots. Okay, so you can see the modifiers are neutral from Mayhem 4. Uh, so, the cool thing about this gun is, well, one, it's not going to apply a damage over time. Also, yeah, loaders have this cheap attack where they one-shot you. And as you can see, 407k. When you kill the enemy, it's going to release corrosion balls that kind of shoot out in every direction. And they do, like, massive damage. Now, they don't perfectly home into the enemy every time. They go in a straight path. So if they're not in the path of the ball, uh, then it's not going to hit. Yeah, 256k. I think that was 600k. Now, these are flesh enemies, and it still works. It doesn't have to be, you know, on robots only. The base damage on the gun is pretty good, too. Like, they're dying pretty easily. And we didn't get that chain on that guy, sadly. Oh, they do self-damage too. Yeah, be aware of that. Yep, it does. Bye. <laughs> Alright, I had to save quit to get more robots, so again, neutral. Do a few more. Uh, let's do the five-round burst too. So we swap off. Got a good hit there. Alright, final thoughts on the Breath of the Dying. It is really good. The raw damage of it, not counting the corrosive blobs that shoot out of it, do really good damage on Mayhem 4. So it's a solid gun by itself on top of doing crazy damage with the special effect. At first I was thinking that crazy damage was from the Guardian Rank perk overkill, but then I realized we're not getting a lot of overkill from the bullet damage from the gun. I don't know, maybe if you chain kills you can get crazy overkill? But that is an insane multiplier for that kind of damage. I would save quit and like get my first kill and it would still do that crazy damage. So there's no way I'm chaining back to back overkill like that. Overall, it's a very strong choice. And if you're going to be jumping into the Handsome Jackpot DLC, you might want to bring this along. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Peace out.